Hello. Assalamu alaikum, Christian Prince. You're right. Wa alaikum assalam. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yeah, I'm a Muslim family. Okay. What I've do you think about videos. what do you oh. think about this, my friend? Uh, what you on, on screen now? I'm talking about your prophet saying, like, if you go in the bathroom, you don't say a certain prayer, shaitan, he will do something to your ass. What do you okay. think? Now, yeah, um, what do I think of that? I've heard, I've been watching your videos for the past five, six months, been following me for about five, six months. Um, uh, some, my Muslim brothers and friends have come across and said that uh, these are interpretations of people living in the past, which do not really have knowledge. That's what I'm thinking. I don't, you know, I don't really believe. Give me your interpretation. You are, you are living, my friend, in the year 2019. Give me your interpretation. Go ahead. What is, why you need right. to say a certain prayer before you go to the bathroom? You give me your interpretation. I'm listening. My interpretation, you don't need to say any prayer to go to the bathroom. So why Muhammad said, said that then? Why he said that? He was making fun of us. He was lying to us. This, um, the inter interpretation of the person who, who said is Mwata, is it Mwata? I'm just, sorry, I'm just following, looking at YouTube, this is going up. Oh, no, I'm showing you from many places. This is not necessarily here, anything, whatever, whatever you want. And, you know, we are showing you, uh, you know. But uh, you, yeah, sorry, like, if you do it, interrupt. Yeah. you understand my point where I'm saying that this is like people, I mean, a lot of people have said that these are people living in the era like, I mean, the year 2018 now, and they're living in the era of whatever it is, to 15, 14 years ago, Islam, yeah, 14, 15, 15 years ago, what their understanding of this is, they're putting down that. Well, I mean, I can't understand why you, you, you want to say a prayer to have a shit. Sorry, excuse my friend. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. But, you know, it's, at the end of the day, you as a Muslim, how you, mm. how you deal with this madness? I mean, you're a prophet, obviously, he said those things. And now the Muslims, they try to say, oh, this is Da'if and this is Sahih, and etc. Just to avoid, uh, you know. I don't think um, Islam is based upon these Muslims that you get on. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I am born in a Muslim family. And Okay, what about I'm the Quran? Followed. Do you think the Quran is, uh, is, is based on fear? Yeah, I do believe it's based on fear. I okay, do. so I what, mean, why, why? Let us see. Do you know when Muhammad, he said, he said to the Christians specifically, and the Jews that if you don't believe on me I am going to erase the details of your faces yeah I've seen that yeah okay I so, mean that, that so what is that I mean why 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 such a statement is there and if a Muhammad is a true prophet imagine now you call me and I say to you my friend if you don't believe in me before you hang the phone tonight my Lord will erase your eyes and your nose and he will make your nose upside down will go inside your head and your eyes will go and your eyebrows will go and your mouth will be stitched stitched and you cannot even talk why is that so, sounds like a film doesn't it um no um that, that don't make sense but uh, I would like to put something in towards this that like um I do agree with you this is not the Uthman Quran or the, the Quran that Muhammad said that these four uh, Sahaba would bring forward this is the Hafs version right and maybe there's some misinterpretation I don't want to say corrupt but maybe some in, in misinterpretation of s things come along no but all it, Muslims uh, you see the problem is I don't see any mm -hmm. Muslim saying this is not the true Quran or the Muslim they say that this is the Quran so and, I'm, uh, not a, I'm not a Shia sorry sorry CP. I'm not a Shia but um, I, I do speak some Friends who are Shia, and they say that uh, Ali had actually memorized the Quran, and um, he will bring forth that Quran because the, the 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 companions or the Sahabas said, "No, we don't accept this Quran." But he they they will bring forth that Quran. That is the true pre preservation. I don't know where where. Yeah, where but that you are stands. Sunni anyway, so Sunni. This is what they have, and even yeah. even the Shia. I mean, the Sunni Sunni uh, is either the Quran. There's no Quran actually. I believe there's no Quran. It's a, it's a, this is not. This is just a collection of stories. Nobody knows where they are coming from. But however, as long as the Muslim believe that this is their book and they call it holy book, then we have to deal with the holy book they have in their hand. So, when a when a God he is trying to convince me to believe in Muhammad and me as a Christian, and he said to me, "Oh, you have to believe before we elaborate faces, erasing the eyes and the nose and the eyebrows." 
in them and turn them inside out and make them like naps of the necks of a flat plate or curse them by transforming them into apes as we cursed and transformed those who broke the Sabbath so this God obviously he gave up he could not convince me to believe in him so now what he's saying to me today huh today you better do mm. it now before I do this to you I'm going to erase your eyebrows I mean what kind of a threat this a threat is how it silly and how stupid right yeah it doesn't make sense now it doesn't make sense and as you see I'm showing the screen even how the Muslim give interpretation this is not my interpretation it's not me who is saying this is what it says right is this Jalalain or is this? Kutri? This is a Jalalain. Yes, we can. I can change it for you. It doesn't matter. What you, whatever you like. We can no, 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 no. They all gonna say the same. Yeah. Any different ones. So what I kind of? Uh, and here we go. We did not believe in Muhammad. Why Allah did not erase my eyebrows? Yeah, I. Uh, that's my question as well. You know, obviously this was a scam. It's just a threat, and Muhammad is not capable. His God is a fake. He was scaring people, trying to convince them to join his religion. Otherwise, mm -hmm. and you see here the Muslim they cannot say this is in the judgment day because he compared this as the same as he did to the Jews and supposed he did that already to the Jews in the past. It's not in the judgment day. Okay. No, the, this being set aside, I agree upon what you're saying there. I don't agree with this as well. But my question to you is this that um the year 2018 we have a different understanding of things how they are we have an, uh, an understanding of how the universe operates we don't we know the moon doesn't the sun doesn't go into murky water we know the sun is in, in deep space and we orbit itself we, we have an understanding these people who actually gave gave um, their views on what these meant maybe they never uh, had an understanding of what is what you know do you but what do you do now know? today in the, as a Muslim today? I have no idea. I mean, did you decide to scared. understand, my friend? Well, CP, listen. The thing is, right? I'm scared. You know what I'm scared of? Not people. I'm scared of my soul. My soul is what is going to be punished or is going to be actually given hope. You know, spirituality. Like this is what I fear. I mean, I'm, I I followed you. I've seen. Uh, Islam's not based on Zakat Naik. Islam's not based on hijab or the turkey with him, right? It's not based on them. Islam is based on the Quran, the text I have to look and read. And when I look at them, I get confused. I mean, I, I watch you and I listen to you and I, I see everything on there and I just look and check and I can't fault you. I, can't, I just can't fault you, but I fear for my, for my soul. My friend, you know? do, do you know that topic today? The topic, the topic is the, the title is the logic of fear to drive the crowd into Islam. So now you are saying to me that Muhammad was successful to drive you into the fear to stay as a Muslim because you fear. But as you see, this is cannot be from God. So what is the fear from? I mean, this guy, here we go. He threatened us as a Christians. And he said clearly, if you don't believe in me, which means before you die, I'm going to erase your eyebrows. I'm going to make your face upside down. I'm going to take your eyes away. I'm going to make your mouse. It's, uh, look at the description, crazy. And obviously, he can do nothing to you. So where is the fear coming from, my friend? Obviously, this God. Here we go. Who is more spanking Allah more than Christian Prince? I wish he would erase my eyebrows. You know, do me, do me a favor, please. No, no. I what about you erase my mustache? That that would be good. Uh, what about my beard? I shave every day, you know. So, uh, this God obviously is a false God, a God who make a threat. He cannot do it. Obviously, he is an idiot. Same time, all the stories in the Quran is stupid. I mean, God because the the Jews they break the Sabbath, he make them pigs and monkeys. But somebody he rape a woman, he don't make him a pig and a monkey. Which one is bigger? Raping the woman. Or somebody is raping a child, or somebody kidnapping people, or etc. So, since when this is can be a logic of fear can control over me? If this logic is not a true, is a stupid. Somebody mm. did fishing, and actually, if you read the story about the breaking the Sabbath, you will see that those people, Allah, He made them fish in Saturday. He forbid them from fishing in Saturday, but He made the fish come to them only in Saturday. So look yeah, at yeah, this. I'm familiar. Yeah, He's look sorry. at this logic. I will I will say to you don't do fishing in Saturday this is Sabbath 
and then I will make the fish come only in Saturday and not only that yeah. the fish jump in the top, the top of the water and they say to you ah, 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 ah. you know like what the heck is that so now who is the criminal so well, according to what you're saying the, the criminal is you know the person who's making commerce yeah. isn't it and this is this is mm -hmm. this is exist in the Quran I mean we can show that interpretation is very stupid very stupid. This is the verse in the Quran where he says, Yeah, this is a chapter yeah. 7, verse 163. Let us go there. This. What kind of a mad prophet this prophet is? You have a mental illness, you know. Let us see. I hope you are not getting offended by what I say, but this is how I see it. You know, I'm saying what I believe. TP, uh, if I was getting offended, I would actually reply back straight away. I'll, all right. I listen, uh, like I say, I've been listening. So okay, read with me. If, if you want me to try to change the translation, the Jalalain, we will change it. No problem. No, I'm reading. Christmas last time. Muhammad Read, read loud. Um. Uh, no. I'll, 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 I'll mumble. Sorry. I'll, let me just. I'll, if I read to myself in my head, I can understand it. The lad was but benefits of his habits. Out of the transcripts of my life, it's up by fishing. He said, commanding not what to choose on a day. That verbal qualifier of your time, they would transcripts the fish and comment on the day itself. Surface, the surface of the water, but but on the, on the day they did not observe the Sabbath, they would try and straight the Sabbath over. They were trying to speak in us, and when they went to fish, the, the city split into three, one, third, join. And one. So to make it simple, yeah. Allah, he forbid them from fishing on Saturday, but Allah, he made the fish come to them on Saturday only. The whole week they disappear. And then the fish, they come in the top of the water doing ballet. Hey, 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 we are here. You cannot fish us. Now, those are fishermen. They have a family to feed. So what kind of God he do such a game? I mean, how stupid is that is? Can I see the... The Quran Surah in this place. Yeah, because this is the, the this is the verse. Uh, you know, do you know, you know, do you know Arabic? No, I can. Um, it's like French. I can read French, but I cannot understand it. It's okay. just letters. I can just pick it up. Like uh, no, no problem. We can, we can go to the that translate that was um, uh, a translation, wasn't it? That uh, like say like Jalalain or yeah, this is interpretation. Here we see the translation. If you speak French, I advise you to get my book. No, I the said French. I can read French. So, like I was trying to give a comparison to, like the French letters are like the same letters as the English. Like um, I can read French, but I cannot understand it. it's like Arabic. I can read the Arabic, but I cannot understand it. I can the yeah. letters I can make out the same like. This is the Arabic. This is the English. Last time, times before. Can you make that go to the left? That's it. Yeah. Friendship was by the sea. How did they break the Sabbath? How the big fish came onto them visibly upon the Sabbath day, and the day when they did not keep the Sabbath came not unto them. Thus we did try them. Yeah, well, yeah, I agree with you. Why they want to try them on the Saturday when they, yeah, no. You see, if you want to be just, yeah. bring them the fish all the week, and then if they fish yeah. on Saturday, that's mean they are bad people, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. you tell them only you can fish in the in six days of the of the, of the week, and this day you cannot fish, fish. But you bring them the fish. You are the one who bring the fish only on Saturday. That's not fair. There are people mm. they want to live. They have, they have a. You created them with a stomach. They need to eat. So. What they will do they have a family to feed so now what kind of god this god is i mean this god is is, is playing games with us okay i agree with you upon this right so um 
um, even on you, you know, you've said like this is a Huff's translation, and I've done a bit of research on that as well, and I've actually found out that you're not making nothing up. Like you know, everything you say, is, is, it is it is truthful. Um, this maybe it's it's just not. I mean, there there was a Quran which they t- tried to carbon date, which even predates Muhammad itself, right? Um, so maybe this is not. Right or that that my... one actually even that one my friend it was not for the the words it was for the the material, not for mm. the writing it's for the letter, you know the letter is a pre date yeah. Muhammad himself, but it's not it the writing it. it's not the Quran because the Quran you see the the first Quran written there's no dots, there's no valves right yeah and yeah, right yeah. away you see that this this one have valves and have dots so this is after long after so. The Quran of Muhammad, nobody have it anyway. And the Muslim, when they find like this, the one you are talking about, they made a party about it, and even this one is not the same. But here, it doesn't matter really if the Quran is corrupt or not. I mean, I don't, I don't spend my time speaking about the corruption of the Quran because who cares if it's corrupt or not? You cannot prove the corrupt to be corrupt again. I mean, what the point? No, there's no point on that. No. I believe the Quran is a false book, and then I want to prove to you that the the the, the false book is corrupt. It's corrupt anyway. Let us say it is the original as it is Muhammad. He have it. Who care? This is enough for me to mm. prove that it is, is false. So if, I am, be, if um, I am if I am you, sorry. if I am you, I will denounce Islam right now, my friend. You are smarter than this. Say it. Say I'm out of Islam. <laughs> Come on, you are you are, you are not. You are a man. You are a man. I can tell you are not. You are not one of those, you know, uh, uh, potatoes. You are a man. Say it. No, you can call me a donkey, you can call me a potato, I don't mind, you can call me Abdul, but um, I, I, I have followed you some time now. I can't, I can't well, fault you, cannot. you, I mean. No, I'm, I'm not saying, checked, no, I can't it's not fault about you. insulting I've me, checked. it's not about, you see, this is, no, 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 my no, friend, no, so I didn't say it's an insult to me to believe in this. So you, I know you will not accept you to insult yourself to believe in this, because the second I say I believe in this, it's me, I'm insulting myself. So I'm, I'm saying to you, do you really believe in this? CP, my soul's at stake here, you know. Let us make the question clear. Forget about your soul now. Do you really believe in this? No. Okay, so that's it. You're, you're out of Islam. Why are you going to say it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what is missing here? You just said no. You don't believe in but this. Do you, but do you, do you understand my, you know, my... My soul's at stake here, you know. My, my friend, the, the, this God, he cannot hurt your soul. This God is the devil. He is hurting you by 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 following this, not by by leaving it. This God, he can do nothing. You know, this God, he made a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant. You heard of it, right? Yeah. The elephant. Yeah, okay. What is the elephant chapter? That there's an army well, came to destroy the Kaaba, and Allah, He sent birds, and the birds they throw rocks, and the rocks they destroy. The, the the army which would have destroyed the Kaaba. Where was the bird of Allah when the American are flying in the top of the Kaaba with the F-16? Well, where, so where, where is the army of Allah, the birds, when al qurmuti came and destroyed the Kaaba literally stone by stone and he was screaming, not only he destroyed it, he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba saying, Allah, where is your where is your birds? And then he took the stone for more than 21 years and then the Muslim, they have to pay a ransom so he might return it back and he sent it to them pieces. You know this story that you said about um, the Kaaba stone disappearing. Is that from the Hadith or is that? Is that yeah, this is all from this. Yeah, because this is long after Muhammad. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. I don't want to say. I just want to ask you. This like, from the history from... of Islam. They, they, all the Muslims agree with it. The Kaaba actually destroyed many times. Be by Hajjaj, or uh, destroyed by the Qurmati, destroyed, destroyed many times. So, but Al Qurmati, he did something different from the rest. Al Qurmati, he stood in the top of the of the Kaaba after being destroyed. Mm -hmm. And he was screaming to Allah saying, where is your birds? <laughs> Which means you are a liar. Here we go. The whole story about the elephants in the Quran is nothing but a lie. Well, yeah, the first thing that came to my head was like the elephants need water. What are they doing in the sub-Saharan desert? Like, they ain't going to survive there. How, they how cannot the even reach Mecca. How you can bring an army of elephants into Mecca? Well, that's the first thing that came to my head. And that's what I'm going to start questioning. I start searching. I start searching and start looking, and I came across you. And my my friend, if if the Kaaba is protected by the birds of Allah, why the Saudi are buying the F sixteen of American and the Awaks? I mean, who who? Come on, your land is protected by the birds of Allah. 
Of the other days, a surah of the Quran, isn't it? The bird pelted, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, is chapter yeah, 105 in the Quran, chapter 105, you know. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that one. Yeah, the elephant he needs 600 gallons of water a day, an average. So, not only just to drink, just to wet his, his skin because they don't sweat, they die. Even in Africa, mm -hmm. elephant mm -hmm. during the day they stay inside the water or in the under the shade because they cannot survive. This is why you see most of those animals, they are huge ones in Africa. They sit inside the water to keep themselves cool. They cannot mm -hmm. live without the water. They have to live in an area have a lot of water. Otherwise, they will die literally. So how in the world you want to convince me that this is an army of elephants coming to destroy the Kaaba, going through the desert of Saudi Arabia for thousands of kilometers without water, you know? Yeah, no, that's what I quite, that's what I, I said to myself. And... That's what I was thinking about elephants in, so, in the Middle East. So I, I, I've been to Hajj. I will ask you the question Sorry. again. You've been to Hajj, huh? I've been to Hajj. What about, the, the, weather what about the black stone? Very, very did, did you kiss Sorry. it, my friend? Did you kiss the black stone? No, I, I never kissed the black stone. Why I did you not kiss it. it, man? You miss a lot. <laughs> I did. I did. There's a big, big rush there. I mean, I couldn't get near it. I, mean, I listen. I, I look. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I followed it um, passionately. I did. I followed the passion. I was practicing for five years non-stop, five you know five times a, a salah a, you know a day, five years non-stop, and then I started reading and started looking at things and and started thinking you know this is this don't make sense this don't make sense. And when I said the elephants part come up and think, hang on, elephants need water, and that's when I start questioning and then I start looking looking looking, but you know. I kept saying to myself, my soul, I, I fear, I, I, I fear for my soul. I do, seriously, I do, I do. You don't know how, how it feels like, but my friend, everybody has. There is no mm. fear. I have no fear from the God of Islam for a very simple reason. He is fake. He cannot be God. God is not stupid. He doesn't say stupid things, you know? And the black stone not. is additional proof that Muhammad is nothing but a pagan. When Abu Bakr he was speaking to somebody who is he don't like because he is not being a Muslim, Abu Bakr he said to him, "Imsus badr alat." You know what badr alat mean? No. Go and suck the clitoris of alat. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the yeah. black stone looked like a vagina, and present the god of fertility. Alat have a bother have a clitoris mm. so now go and suck it you don't like us as muslims you don't like muhammad you don't like allah okay go and suck the clitoris of allah and this mm. is the hate in the front of you when you read the muslim translation we don't see that by the way in english i did not see it where there's nowhere in this hadith it says go and suck the clitoris of allah nowhere i could not find yeah. it in arabic is mm. something in english is something else so yeah this is a very cult religion. Have you ever heard of a religion teaching you that if you touch stones, they erase your sin? Oh. Yeah, no, no, I heard about that as well. That's why I was trying to get close to 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 the stone myself as well. I mean, I was just it's it's blind. Don't get me wrong. I'm I'm not trying to criticize myself, but just like blind, passionate faith, um, just purely believing I, d I don't believe to actually kill other people to make myself feel better I, I was believing you know I believe that this was this this was my passion this was this is right this is you know this is it I practiced five times for five years I, I, you know I practiced I prayed I bowed down and I fasted as well I've done everything and I've done it passionately as well I had a girlfriend I came back and I said to her, Look, I can't touch you. I've done Hajj. I, you know, we need to do a nik you know, nikah. I mean, nikah, which I thought meant marriage. And then afterwards, I find out what nikah. Then when I look at nikah, what it means, you know, somebody comes to me and says, I want to do a nikah with your daughter. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look at him and say, You know what? what sorry, sorry about my French, but what the hell are you talking about? I would find that vulgar as well. Just by somebody saying that to me as well, they want to do nikah with my daughter. No. You want to take marriage? You want to marry my daughter? Yeah, that's different. But then I start thinking about this stuff.
But anyway, I said to my girlfriend, look, you know, we need to, I won't only use the word nikah, so we need to get married before I can actually touch you. That's how passionate I was. Mm. And then I started reading, 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 and then I come across, the, and I just thinking, hang on, I started questioning myself. This don't make sense. This don't make sense. And I, was, and I kept saying to myself, maybe like it's a different era. You know, maybe that it's just I think differently now, and then people think maybe it's the wrong translation. This is why I keep saying I said to you in the start when I came on, I said maybe it's the, what they thought it meant at the time because they're living in that past era. No, my friend, it's in Arabic. This, it's in Arabic. It's clear. We are Arab. We speak Arabic. This is our language. And there's no need for mm -hmm. translation. So, no, they did not get, get it wrong. There is some stuff Muslims get it wrong. As an example, Muhammad did not know how to write or to read. I agree with that. But still, I have to go with it because Muslims, they believe in that. So, I don't really, as long as they believe in it, it's not a problem. But from what I learned from you, that you don't believe mm -hmm. in this garbage anymore. So, why you, are don't, why you don't say I'm out? Just say it. You know what? Well, I'm gonna hold you responsible if my soul goes to hell. I'm out of this. All right. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. He is out right. of this garbage. I'm really happy for you. You don't fit there. You are not. You, you cannot be but there. You, you, you remember my word. I'm gonna hold you responsible for my soul. All right. You are. You are responsible, and I am responsible for making you leave this cult. And don't worry. I say to you, do you know how many people I meet? I made them leave Islam every month. So. I am responsible. I don't fear anyone for doing this. I did just today. I just did good by helping you to go out. I don't. I have no fear for for what I am doing because simply this is the right thing to do. Now, my friend, me as a Christian, mm. you know, I'm Christian Prince, right? Yeah. Which means I am a Christian person, and I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. What do you think about the Messiah? I have a lot of respect for Jesus, right? Yeah. I have a, a lot, a lot of respect for Jesus, and uh, even you know, even, even through your videos, which um, I I used to believe that Esau was Jesus, and when I watched your videos and, and I start questioning that Esau been Maryam, and then, then he, Maryam had a brother called Aaron, and Aaron was never Maryam's brother. Even even the stories there related that Jesus was sinful and he was raised to heaven, and you know, and it wasn't meant Jesus wasn't on the cross. And, Anyway, putting all that aside, he's sinful, right? He, I I do believe that I have a lot of respect for Jesus. I, I don't, but I need to do a bit more research and watch you much, much more. Okay, what is it preventing you? If what is it preventing you now from saying I believe in Jesus as my savior? Can, maybe I can help you. Maybe because I haven't read Bible scriptures, right? To actually. Uh, understand Jesus' life more in detail, that, you know, because <sighs> it's just confusing. CPO, just well, you know, the 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 Messiah is a very uh, simple person to understand. He's good. He's wise. He's wonderful. He's loving. He's he's peaceful, and he taught us. You know, if I give you two two words of Jesus, you can live with it. From their fruits, you shall know them. As an example. I do not need mm. to read the book, right? From their fruits, you shall know them. His name is a Christian prince, but his fruit is bad. Well, he is no Christian and he is no prince. As simple as that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. from yeah. their fruit, you shall know them. Wonderful wisdom. Very easy. It's not complicated. God is simple. You know, those who curse you, bless them. Love those who yeah. hate you. Those who curse you. If, you. if you think about it, okay, I did not study the Bible. I did not read the whole book. But look at Jesus saying to me something is very useful and very healthy for all mankind even according to science according to doctors those mm. who have no like uh, uh, energy for revenge they don't want to revenge they don't want to hate people even the one who harm them they live happier and they die happy so even by science if you practice the teaching of christ that you don't hate your enemy love your enemy you will live happy until the last second in your life. So Jesus bring peace inside you and your inner, bring peace around you, because even the enemy around you, you don't see them as enemies. You, know? you don't have fear. Mm -hmm. He killed the fear inside you. When you don't see, when you don't see any any uh, any enemies, that's mean I killed my fear from you being my enemy. Even maybe you hate me, 
but I don't have a fear no more for I love everybody okay you kill me you want to kill me okay but I don't hate you so here you will see that Jesus he brings something new to our life which he make us new mankind is not the kind who want to revenge for somebody who hurt me is not the kind who hate and just you want to practice hate just because that will make me more satisfied as the Quran says fight them kill them by your hands Allah he punished them Jesus don't want that from you he wants you to live and to be happy mm. so when I say to you accept Jesus it's not just about accepting him as your Savior in the judgment day actually he saved you today because today you are in fear as you told me today you are confused as you said to me but by practicing few sentences of what Jesus said your life will change I will overcome the fear we don't want you to worship Jesus because you have fear but because you have love not because Jesus is going to punish you because you did not believe in him but because Jesus he wants you to be saved and Jesus he loves you so we have a different approach of how we see our Lord our Savior even when we pray as a Christian and I'm sure you know we see our father right yeah there's a huge difference between saying our father and we are a slave of Allah so for us we don't even though I mean God he can demolish us he can he can force us into slavery if you want he can make us whatever he want but even here you will see that he wants you to speak to him as a father so our father out of heaven so the relationship mm. between us and him is not about slavery and abuse it's about love and being the children of God so when I invite you to accept Jesus I'm not ex uh, asking you to just to get a new God I'm, ex I'm asking you to join a new family a real family where God is mm. our provider our protector and we have no fear and we live in love and harmony with ourselves and people around us so I invite you again to say to accept that Jesus is the one who will give you protection and will provide you with the harmony of love for your family for your friends for your society and you will drop your hate and you will drop your fear and you will leave the darkness and you will be a new person and that's why we call ourselves born again Christian so again I invite you to accept Jesus my friend mm. You know, you know everything you make you just said it just makes sense it just makes sense say it it's 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 it's, it's just really I, I, you know did you say did you, did you say yes <laughs> did you just say yes <laughs> You know, I don't think you understand how, how bad this is. You know, I'm in tears. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Actually, many of uh, many, uh, many people there will be crying with you. Don't. It's okay. Don't be shy from crying. So what a big deal. I mean, let your tears wash your sin, wash your fear, wash all the previous life and be a new person. Be born again with Jesus and you will be a new person. My friend, I'm very happy for you. Your tears is not about shame. It's about something good. When people they cry, it's mean they have something good in their heart. It's not because they are bad. We cry for good, not for bad. When we have feeling, when we have emotion, when we have love, that what bring tears. Criminals don't cry. Criminals they kill you and they have the as if they have not done nothing. So my friend, we are so happy for you and we say hallelujah, a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord today because you accepted the Messiah. Thank you, ZP. And I, I can I can feel from your voice that you are crying and I respect that in you. Okay, see here. All right, my friend. If you want to say something else, I don't wanna uh, uh, don't be shy no, and no. be happy. We're happy for you. Look at those people here, how happy they are. They are more happy, more maybe maybe more than you because they love you really. Look how many people now they are praying for you. Okay, see, uh, speak to you soon, yeah? All right, my friend. God bless you. All right. God is good. God is good.
Actually, me, myself, I do not know what to say. 